I don't know if people who make video games like intentionally do this or if they just don't like hire a good writer. <laughs> like they're just a bunch of programmers they don't like, actually know how to write a story and that's why you get all these like weird video game well, stories. Um I don't well uh, by the way, hello everybody, welcome to the show. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know, because like you look at a, a game like you know, or a, a company like Naughty Dog who has who has people like Amy Hennig who's like ridiculously talented as a writer. Um and then, you know, Neil Druckmann um, oh, okay. Wow, sorry about that, everyone. Um, I just hit the fucking microphone with my com uh, my my controller. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Like, cause the, them two are like have done a really good job with you know The Last of Us and Uncharted yeah. and stuff like that. But then you have you know, oh, this is games creepy. like this, which I think are well written to a certain extent. Yeah, no. But like, I kind of look at the these and describe them as like Doctor Who games. Yeah, where it's like episodic. Um, not it's not episodic, but it's like it, it's it's standalone episodes. I would say self-contained so, stories. So exactly, yeah. it's like several episodes that are self-contained. Exactly, perfect way to describe it. By the way, we just saw that that dude who uh, got the morphine and stuff. He was like the person he was on the payphone that was like, "You said there were the houses were supposed to be empty." Yeah. Um. He was like fucking around with a bunch of origamis right there. He's the origami killer. Yes. Hey. This is actually a sequel to. A prequel to uh, Indigo Prophecy. Indigo Prophecy. No, Heavy there is an example Heavy of rain. somebody who is not a very good writer. <laughs> David Cage. Yeah, I used to think he was. A, I used to think he was a great writer. Yeah. And then, like, the more and more I looked at the games that he made, <laughs> and I really thought, I really realized that Heavy Rain was really just an exception. It was. Yeah. Really, it was really just like he was lucky. He just lucky. stumbled into it. Yeah. No, I think I think David Cage has a lot of good ideas. This guy's just been waiting in the fucking car and doesn't know how to execute them properly. No. Yeah. No. He's like he's like Hideo Kojima, and I know yeah. holy shit that somebody would ever dare criticize Hideo Kojima, but Hideo Kojima is a great conceptual writer. He's great at making a storyboard. He is not good at creating an actual script. Yeah. That's and that's kind of a big part of writing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> um, oh, my God. But yeah, same thing with David Cage. Like, yeah. really great... Uh, well, David Cage, to a lesser extent. Kojima does a lot you. better job at storyboarding. Tell but David Cage, well, like, is an okay storyboarder, mission. but yeah. he, he can't fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's his problem. Though, Which you actually hear that a lot about movie writers, too. A lot of movie writers are like, yeah, I'm really good at the framework, but not really good at dialogue. Exactly. And it's such a weird, like, what do you mean I'm not good at dialogue? <laughs> like, that's like... Well, no, that's actually a really fair <laughs> thing. Some, sometimes it works. Sometimes, if you have really good actors and a really good, like, crew, well, it, it can work. A lot of the time... Just, yeah, I started the timer. A lot of the time, like, I mean, there, there's a lot of writers that I, that I know of that are not, like superb at dialogue. Sure. Not that they're necessarily bad, yeah. but they're not great at it. But you look at a guy like Quentin Tarantino, whose like, whole thing yeah. is dialogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. And when you have that as a process of compare or a process, uh, uh, you know... Um, a point a, of comparison. Or a point of reference. Ah, there we go. Um, you you uh, get kind of spoiled and you look at, at, you know, games like, you know, Heavy Rain, for example. Yeah, yeah. That has a great uh, setting, has, has a great tone. Does not have great writing. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true, and it can still work. Well, that's the thing is that like I, for the longest time, I always misconstrued great writing for great tone. Yeah, and and like a game like this has fucking fantastic tone. They did a great job at at setting this world up, and, and creating a, a place that really feels like the '40s, and it feels like this yeah. really enriched like um, Same city, with Mafia. the city of angels, right? Um, is the way this kind of place feels like. <laughs> <laughs> and like as I'm like just seriously, seriously talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he just yeah. he just was so sad he collapsed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I also look at the opposite as like. Uh, Boo. Oh fuck! What was that movie? Uh, Max Landis wrote it. Um, fuck. American Ultra. Right. The dialogue. I never was, saw that. The dialogue was really good. The script was really good, but the director had no idea what the fuck he was doing, and so the all the the tone and all like the whole movie felt completely off and terrible. Well, the problem with games in general. That I feel like I love how we usually are always just like poop and shit and titties, <laughs> and right now we're just like yeah. So the problem with the writing industry yeah. and video games, um, but yeah, the so scripts and games. And I life. mean, one of the big problems is that it's just like an underpaid version of film at this point. Yeah, yeah and that's true. Like when you have games like this that are like all ooh cinematic, which is cool with me, but when you have games that are wow. Uh, when you have games that are all like that, like, you know, The Last of Us and stuff like that, it's just, like, a lot of people who you've got to start thinking they're kind of underpaid for what they're doing. Yeah. Because they're doing the whole movie thing, 
but they're also like programmers. Yeah. Well, also like the voice actors. They used to just be voice actors. Now they're just actors. Actor, actor. Yeah, they're fucking because of mo yeah, yeah, exactly. They have to actually act. So it's like why are they not millionaires? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I bet. I bet like uh Troy like I'm Baker. not saying I'm not saying like oh everybody who does a thing should like, you know, like I guess some people would say actors don't deserve to be millionaires, but like based off of market value, it's just, you know, yeah. actors get paid that sort of money. Why the fuck? And that's not even to say that Troy Baker isn't necessarily a millionaire. Yeah. But it's like anybody who do, who does that job should be making some oh, fucking money. Also. Yes. Wow. Also. Wow. Also. Oh Back my God. to the game. Jesus Christ. This is fucking giving me flashbacks to Spec Ops The Line. To be honest, I just got here. <laughs> Be honest, I've been drunk for hours, Phelps. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion. Yes, moved it typically <laughs> means you displace someone from one region to another. I'm almost positive the cause of death. What? I've never heard this word before. What does this mean? Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damages post mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make Ugh, sense. I don't like looking at them. They're freaking me out. Also, they're like in prayer pose. Yeah, no, they look really creepy. I don't like it. What the fuck was happening? Why were they all in this position? <laughs> they were eating a very low dinner. Like, if they were moved post mortem, that would imply that, like, um, what's the word when, like, Someone dies and they kind of like turn into a statue, basically. Oh, rigor mortis. Yeah, like rigor mortis sets in. Yeah. So it's not like I would imagine that that was the position they died in, right? So were they like all fucking praying at the bed <laughs> or some shits? Well, but he said they were moved po like after they were killed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So they were like that before they died. No, he said they were moved after they died. Like they died and then they were moved here. Yes. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. So this is how they were positioned yeah. when they died. After they died. No, if <laughs> I, if they died. No, after they died. Yeah. Rigor mortis sets in, yes. which means that they are they were in whatever position that they died in. Oh. Oh. So this person. And they like moving into like the in living prayer room. pose. Die, oh. The, they yeah. die in prayor pose, and then rigor mortis sets in, so they are stuck in prayor pose. Yeah. And then they like so what the like fuck? My point room. is, what the fuck were they doing to yeah. be put in that position? Okay. Or okay. is the game being inconsistent I'm on and board. just and just doesn't even acknowledge that rigor mortis is a thing? Or oh, gee, maybe like the fire too, like just stuck them like that. Oh I don't god, know. Ugh. What are they doing? It's it really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, so oh that, no, well, now, now we know. Oh, that's the answer then. Well, we just wasted the past <laughs> three, three fucking I love minutes. We were, like debating this, and then instantly the game's like, "No, you idiots." It's this, you stupid bitches. That reminds me of um, <laughs> the movie Looper. Uh, I don't know if you know that movie. Oh, it had the, Joseph Gordon-Levitt yeah, and his time and, uh, travel and, and all uh, that. And fucking uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah, and Chris and I, for like 30 minutes, we paused the movie, and we were arguing <laughs> over like the, t the ramifications of time travel. And yeah. literally at one point, Chris pulled out a piece of paper <laughs> and started like drawing like the differences between one... like. Uh, conception conception of how time works, yeah, and then another, yeah. and like trying to explain it, yeah. And then after we finish talking, immediately we go to the diner scene where Bruce Willis tells it's like Joseph Gordon matter. Levitt, it's like it doesn't fucking matter. Look, yeah. we could we could draw diagrams all day if you want, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Okay, point is I'm here. I was just imagining Chris like still holding it, like looks down shamefully and yeah. looks back up at the movie. Yeah, it's already covered in semen <laughs> because he's just so fucking obsessed with it. Have to be to accommodate them, Biggs. What? What? No, I have not. Show some respect. Wait, what the fuck did you say? He's talking about how big his penis was, and <laughs> now he, yeah. I don't Can you know. imagine how big heaven has to be to accommodate this board. penis? Yeah. Like, dude, we're, you see how fires. fucking dead those sure. guys are? Have some respect. <laughs> so what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? You got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. Again. Well, yeah, Phelps, Phelps is like sucks. seven, or he's like three for eleven. For his mistake, like not awful, but not great. No, his success <laughs> rate for arresting the, the right guy is like a fucking baseball himself. player. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. 
It could what a be weirdly right. specific oh, line of sorry, that. sorry, I was just I'm trying sure to investigate the murder. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry that I'm not compartmentalizing enough for you. Oh. Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little I apologize for being Whoa. a detective. Oh, God, that really scared me. <laughs> That's gross. Also, Albert, what? Check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, you, Bill, so I'll get back to you. What? Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating digs. The body was effectively turned into ash. Yeah. Right? So, like, just like, the slightest gust of wind, I guess, could could um, crumble it. Sure, that made sense. No, the body falling apart makes sense. Oh. It was just, like... Evidence? Yeah, no, yeah. It was just like, we just never find evidence. Body breaks down. <laughs> evidence! Runs well, no, away. No, he just lost his shit because he just saw a person yeah. disintegrate. But why did he scream evidence before running out of the room? That's fair. Yeah, that's the... You know, yeah, everything else made sense. I was just like, why would you scream the last word someone else said before leaving? I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to pretend that, that the person disintegrating wasn't the reason he was leaving because he didn't want to look like a pussy so he just wanted to pretend that like he was angry at the pro the concept of doing his job maybe he just wanted to be sound like he was lazy as opposed to okay. being afraid that's true that's this true. is the 40s men are afraid <laughs> to have be feelings afraid, yeah which is um, ironic maybe oh right down there oh basement yeah no it is very erotic oh what the fuck oh yeah, wow. Surprising the fire happened and Yeah. <laughs> With all this water going on. Yeah, why didn't they just go downstairs Suspicious. and like suspicious? I don't like why did they not have buckets? They could just go downstairs and get some buckets and like you were checking your phone every five fucking seconds. I am. What are you doing? Well I thought I had band practice today. And so I texted my band, I was like, What time is practice? And they're like, Oh, it's not And I was like, Oh, well, why not? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, Okay. That's my story. People are assholes. And, and that's my story. You remember Indigo Prophecy? <laughs> oh, wait. Like, whenever you failed ever, they oh, would just yeah. do the whole and that's my story thing. Also, they would, like, if if your insanity meter went down too much. Yeah. Like, say, say you, like, tried to, you know how, like, you know, when you finish a bit of food or whatever, like, say you finish an apple. Yeah. Obviously, you don't eat the core. So, yeah. you're like, I want to just go and throw it in the trash can. Yeah. So, they get the core and try to throw it in the trash can and they miss. Yeah. It's like minus 10 depression points, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, which yeah. leads to them committing suicide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what? wow. I remember, you were on a razor thin wire there, friend. Yeah. I forgot about that. I mean, yeah, this is random shit that would be like plus 20 depression. We'd be like, come on. Like, like miss a door handle or something. Where, like what, 50. what the fuck is the, is the point of this place? Is it just here? Oh, I heard a dingle. No, I, I mean, that that means I already looked at it. Oh. Almost to the end of the game. Still can't recognize the noises. <laughs> hey, I'm not playing. I don't need to know shit. That's true. But yeah, no, I also just love the magic of someone, like, telling a story. And like, yeah, I went out, and this, there was a whole mystery, and it started. And then uh, I uh, tripped over beam. Died. Yeah. That's my story. Not, not like, immediately There's after I tripped over the beam. Like, I was really saddened <laughs> by the fact that I did that, so I killed myself. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, wow, that's a really long. boring, pointless, and depressing story. Like, yeah, well, Skyhurst. that's my story. It's just what it is. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? What? No. I was with the second Marines at Bellevue. A lot of things I haven't seen. Things that went out in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. <laughs> Phelps, this is like, <laughs> cool <laughs> story. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. That's not how you policing guess. works. <laughs> Phelps has gotta be like, he's like, and I'm the, the shitty cop. This, you know, this guy is honestly a terrible cop. Phelps? No, well, yes. <laughs> but also, but also uh, this other guy. I can't, I can't yeah, remember this his guy, name. Yeah. But he, he's like... Every partner we've had is a terrible cop. Well, no, this guy gets mad at me for ever inquiring about anything. Yeah, I'm like, that true. is literally the job that we, <laughs> that entails in what we do. Yeah. Our job it is, is to, do to two inquire. Things, to inquire and to take in suspects. And he's like, don't inquire and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> kill the suspect. Yes. You look like a fireman, son. <laughs> Have fun there. Jumping over my rocks. <laughs> like walk toward him, but just excuse me. I'm gonna vomit everywhere. <laughs> Cause like I, do you, I, I saw what was happening. <laughs> like I saw. Do you want to talk to LAPD? Okay. Can you tell me anything about the fire <laughs> next door? <laughs> Terrible luck. 
Imagine after having won that weekend away. Hey, that guy's in Shameless. Oh. What's your name, sir? Really? Yeah, he's in Shameless. Foreman. He Definitely plays Foreman. the uh, father to the Milkovich family or whatever. Oh, my girlfriend's really into Shameless. Uh, yeah, that's a good show. Well, the first couple of seasons are good. But the last few. Oh, the last few have been bad. That's how it happens. It's Showtime. That's how every show, show every happens. Th- no, it's how every Showtime show Is happens. That Dexter? Dexter Showtime? Yeah. Really? Yeah, Weeds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like every, like they always wow, start yeah. off great. Damn, that's They like, always start off great. That's quite the a first run. two or three seasons are like <laughs> fucking fantastic. Yeah. Shameless made it to four. Yeah. Dexter made it to four. Yeah. The best Showtime shows make it to four seasons. <laughs> and then just, woo! Yeah. But no, after that, like, good fucking God. So, yeah. So, like, nothing. Ever One happens. of my friends was like, yeah, I watched Dexter for like three and a half seasons and I stopped and I'm thinking about going and finishing it. I'm like, don't. No, no, don't tell him to finish the fourth season. Oh, yeah. And then tell like, him to stop. And then don't, don't go past. Yeah. Just don't. <laughs> stop. Anyway. All right. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. <laughs> I don't need to hear this question. Fuck you, cop. <laughs> I guess <laughs> doubt? Face. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the fact that he interrupted me makes me want to say doubt. Yeah. You didn't like me, yeah. did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. And the ones you don't, you blow up. <laughs> I mean, They're I'm a narcissist. I mean, and building a new no, I didn't like GIs. him. <laughs> Morelli was being difficult. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer Ew, for the don't house. Ever do that again? Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Mm, Doubt. Yeah. Well, hold on. Okay. Whatever you nice. thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. Why did he lie? Because he he's a he didn't dickhead. Sell. Literally, why not just Some be like, no, he didn't want to sell. Because the game needs a reason <laughs> to make me do things. <laughs> That's true. You said the no motivation to lie to you about that. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. Pretty straight face. That's true. I just, <laughs> you just change expression. Oh, God, I don't like it. Ugh. Um... He, so, he says he doesn't know. Do you think truth? Mm, yeah. You're, he's not moving. You didn't enter okay. yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. All right. Thanks, fuckface. Thanks for lying to me like a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Arrest this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lied He's several times. Perjuring himself to a police officer. Ooh. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. What? Why? Because. <laughs> I don't like his weird, like, fingers. Yeah. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Haldarun. I think it's just Calderon. No. Haldarun. I think it's a gross misrepresentation. <laughs> that is a gross misre- <laughs> misrepresentation of everything. Is there anything else? What the fuck? Uh, didn't we oh, even... there's... Oh, okay. Oh. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. I guess a lie? Mm, yeah, I mean... Well, here, press lie and see what he says. The old test. I think you're covering for someone, Foreman. Oh, Who is no, it? no, no. And I think you are off your rocker. How can you make an accusation like that? What proof have you got? Yeah, okay, never mind. I mean, like, there's stuff there, but, like, that doesn't really support that he knows. Like, I made a mistake. Yeah, I guess doubt, then. Hold on a sec. <laughs> what was the question, specifically? What, Like, I want to look at the transcript. Uh, do you see anyone hanging around the Morellis, uh home prior to the explosion? No, can't say. I was looking out, though. Okay. Did doubt them? Yeah, I just doubt. You sure, Mr. Foreman? Nice. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, 
now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? A stupid fucking jacket, hat on. Beat up hat and no hair. I think he had sex with a German woman. I thought he was the best exterminator <laughs> like, oh, Very funny. Very funny. Few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Yeah, sure. yeah four for four. Hey, nice. if you're interested, you I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. Oh. I can get it for you if you like. You don't say. Great. Ooh, I want to enter the competition. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my God, Phelps, you're a genius. How do you know that? It's a not a fact every person knows. There's a legend about them. Well, maybe they didn't Fold back then. 1,000 of these and you get a wish. 1,000 of them? That is a lot hey, of cranes. Don't break it. It's a piece I'm not of paper. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. What, what does what? he think this is? Like a remote? <laughs> you can't you can't break paper. <laughs> hey, don't you break can rip it. it. You rip paper. You don't break anyway. Uh, building a better California. We want to buy your old home today. Call two eight zero zero. Wow, were that not that few people <laughs> in the forties? <laughs> like twenty eight hundred cell phones? Leland Monroe. Cell phones? Cell phones. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you like, already you know, have one. All right. Whoa. You ever have those moments where, like, uh, the blood just rushes out of your head for a second, and, like, everything around you just kind of goes light? Yes. Yeah. And you're just like, whoa. Yes. Did that just happen to you? No. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday. This one never happens to you. Yeah. All right. This one's different, though. It's got a bottom on it. It also doesn't have a bunch of folding creases. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, don't take that. Why would you want it? Why would you want it? What's the point? What's the point of this? Fucking, let's get out of here. Who cares about criminals? Get out of my way. I just want a quick look is all. What? No. Why the fuck <laughs> would he ever expect, like, <laughs> the cops could be like, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, can he, like, Phelps stops, turns around. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, you want to look? Yeah. You want to see the, the disfigured dead bodies inside, yeah. asshole? Yeah. Like, horrific images you can you never unsee. Come on, There's yeah. There's two dead kids yeah. in there. <laughs> Five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I make the real money. That's where the real the cop money comes in. 748 <laughs> North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. I don't they know. Are. Did you go through that German woman? God damn it. God Commander? damn it. Can't escape it. <laughs> We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Yes. I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Oh, man. Kelty Poor Phelps. Kelty has us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Phelps, you, you all right? You have some sort of weird stroke? You know who else is having a stroke? <laughs> Phelps. Damn it, I was like... Has there ever been a time where they haven't run? Like, literally, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to happen? No, or did it, glitch? it was not. Uh -oh. <laughs> it literally, like instantly his car 